Welcome to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are more than news. We have been televising news, events, and archives that are the lifeblood of the St. John community for more than 40 years. And at the present time, we have 428 subscribers and 919 videos on YouTube. Today is August the 29th of 2020. I am David Cutright, along with Martha Cutright, and we will be bringing you the show today. We are again in the control room taking COVID-19 precautions. This is a live view from our studio of the city park at about 6.30 p.m. The sky is mostly cloudy, winds are from the northeast at four miles per hour, and the temperature is 77 degrees, and the humidity is 61%. This is the feature that will be on the show today. It is called Day One 2020. We televise this program live at 6.30 p.m. Saturdays and upload it to YouTube right after the show. Occasionally, due to program conflicts, the news will be delayed or rescheduled. If you miss the show, you can still watch it at your convenience at ssctv3.org. Please share our news, features, and programming on your social media. This will help us grow and enable us to serve you better. We also welcome press releases. Just bring them by the studio or send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to be a sponsor of our news or governmental telecast, send your request to ssctv3 at gmail.com and we will set you up. Your advertisement will run on the governmental telecast, the TV3 News, and the TV3 Bulletin Board, which runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Here now are some of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news. And school announcements. The monthly Board of Education meetings will be in the community room of the Ida Long Goodman Memorial Library until further notice. The meeting days and times will be the same, 7 p.m. on the second Monday of each month, except November through February when the meeting time will be 6 p.m. These meetings will be telecast live on cable channel 3 as well as uploaded to ssctv3.org. USD 350 is needing classroom aides, special education para professionals for the upcoming school year. Go to usd350.com for details and an application. USD 350 also needs substitute teachers for the upcoming school year. If you have 60 plus hours of college credit, you can apply for an emergency substitute license through the Kansas State Department of Education. Contact Alyssa Fisher in the district office at 620-549-3564 for more information. The calendar for the upcoming school year has been amended and approved by the Board of Education. The school calendar will not be available in print form this year, but will be available on the school website. Tigertown Pizza is now carry-out only. Call 620 377 5002 to place an order. And now for some city announcements. The St. John City Council will be meeting in the Stafford County Annex until further notice. The meeting days and times will be the same, 7 p.m. 
the first and third Tuesday of each month. These meetings will be telecast live on Cable Channel 3 as well as uploaded to YouTube SSCTV3.org. Due to the increase in COVID-19 cases, the city pool is now closed. The city office has been getting a lot of complaints about grass in the streets. Please be mindful of where your clippings are going. It is not only a problem for the storm drain system, but also the streets. An ordinance requiring the numbering of residential, commercial, and industrial buildings within the city limits of St. John is now in effect. If you have not yet received your numbers, contact City Hall at 620-549-3208. Citizens may pick up a copy of the complete ordinance at the City Office or view it online on the City of St. John's Facebook page. The city office is now open to the public. There is a limit, however, of one person at a time in the office. Please stay at least six feet away from the employees. If you have symptoms, do not enter the office. And face masks are required. In the event of a tornado, the community room of the Idalong Goodman Memorial Library, located at 4th and Monroe, is a designated shelter. If you bring pets, bring them in carriers. Now some around the square announcements. The car show would have taken place today. Maybe things will be back to normal next year and the car show will take place as planned. And some county announcements. The Stafford County Commissioners will be meeting in the Stafford County Annex until further notice. The meeting days and times will be the same, 8.30 each Wednesday morning. These meetings will not be televised live, but will be recorded and uploaded to SSCTV3.org. The Stafford County Economic Development has moved to 311 North Broadway. It no longer has offices in the Stafford County Annex. The Stafford County COVID-19 Update As of Friday, August the 28th, there were 53 active quarantine isolation orders. There are now 15 active positive cases, and there has been one death. The total positive cases to date is 35. Updates will be posted every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the Stafford County Health Department website and Facebook page. Here now are more of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate the support of our local news. It is now time for public service announcements. The Second Chances Thrift Store will be open from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Fridays. Do not bring children at this time. Also, masks are required. A couple of messages from the Sunflower Senior Center. The Lunch Bunch trips will be scheduled as weather permits and time allows. Sandy is still planning on visiting the Cedar Hollow Sawmill and the Turkey Knoll Farm. Craft gatherings are now being planned at the Sunflower Senior Center. Please contact Don Siebert with ideas for gatherings and fellowship. The Idalong Goodman Memorial Library is now closed. Call 620-549-3227 if you need assistance. The Kansas Commission of Veterans Affairs will not be serving itinerants the rest of the year at the Idalong Goodman Memorial Library. Veterans needing assistance can call their representatives, Pilar Cordes at 620-665-8647 or Tim Gaynor at 620-662-7131 to schedule an appointment. 
This year, we had an atypical first day of school. Hopefully, it will be the last. Since 1893, a gathering song has been sung in our schools. The signature lyrics go like this. We're all in our places with bright, shiny faces, but we will not see them this year. As usual, the students got their orientation, do's and don'ts, but the list was much longer this year. Band and choir will rehearse, but close harmony will be a challenge this year. There will be general music, but ORF will be hands-off this year. The students will get lunch, but spacious dining will take on new meaning this year. No masks on the playground, yay, raw, and hallelujah, but there will be a bit of placation this year. Reading, writing, and arithmetic taught to the tune of temperature checks, masks, and social distancing this year. Finally, the first day came to an end, and you guessed it, it was different. The classes will be exiting the building using different doors and different times this year. Uh, this has been uh, quite a work in progress um, <clears throat> over this last week, working with staff, um, tweaking things, uh, make sure we can get kids back to school and do it in a safe manner. Uh, so I'll go through the highlights here and uh, stop me if there's something that's not clear. <clears throat> but how we'll progress uh, in the year would depend on the risk and restriction level in our community. To the best of everyone's ability, the COVID-19 challenge will be met head-on, day by day and hour by hour, this year. Normal temperature, please proceed. Normal temperature, please proceed. Normal temperature, please proceed. Please help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area, and it is our goal to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. Many days there are no events to cover, but there are days that have two or three events to cover at the same time, and we cannot get to all of them. If you would like to help, please contact us. We will even supply the camcorder and show you how to use the video editing computer. Also, if you have items that need to be announced on TV3 or you have an event that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Please contact us by emailing ssctv3 at gmail.com or by calling 620-253-0037. Give us a little notice and we will be there. Also, do not forget that the TV3 bulletin board is available for classified advertising. Your ad will run 24-7 on the local cable system as well as the SSC TV3 YouTube channel. Join us again next Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. for another edition of the TV3 News. All of us at SSC TV3 wish you a happy, healthy, and safe weekend. Keep us informed and we will keep you informed. Thank you for watching and God help the USA.